Hello, my name is Hanan Mahdavi from Shahid University, the Department of Electrical Engineering. Today I want to talk about a two-dimension CNN architecture for improving the classification accuracy of an electronic node with different sensor positions. Classification is an important challenge when we are working with electronic node devices. Our group has been working in various applications of inoses for detection of gases, and these devices are useful for controlling the quality of environmental air, water, food, and boundaries, and even for diagnosing diseases through breath analysis. For gas classification, different machine learning algorithms have assisted electronic noses such as SVM, KNN, backpropagation, neural networks, and so on, that are simple and effective methods. Although these traditional methods have high detection accuracy only when the features are correctly extracted, therefore obtaining high quality features is a challenging issue in these traditional classification methods. And since developing deep learning methods, CNN as one of the most popular techniques of deep learning has been favored first for image classification because this method extracts local special features of images. Then it quickly developed in other areas such as machine vision, speech recognition, and so on. And also lately some researchers have started using CNN in electronic node applications because it used automatic feature extraction instead of the traditional pattern recognition methods and extract the most useful features. In electronic nose devices, the metal oxide gas sensors are one of the most famous gas sensors which are inexpensive, user-friendly, and highly sensitive to various gases and the principle of metal oxide gas sensors is uh, so that in presence of target gas, the resistance of their sensitive film changes. But unfortunately, the responses derived over time and also change due to some environmental characteristics such as temperature, pressure, humidity, flow rate, and so on. Such variable factors affect the interaction of gas molecules with the sensor surface and cause variations in sensor signals. And another challenging issue that causes response variation is location of the sensor related to the gas path. For example, suppose you place uh, one sensor in two positions in a gas route molecules reach differently to the sensor in each place. And then the response of this sensor is different in these two situations. For the signal variation problems, extracting more informative features of response is one of the critical parts of designing a classifier. In order to uh, solve the direct problem of metal oxide gas sensors and obtain better feature extraction and better classification results, the CNN method has recently been used. However, applying the uh, CNN algorithm has really been investigated to improve the classification accuracy of systems where gas sensors are placed in different locations. So in this work, we have looked for increasing the detection accuracy of an electronic node based on metal oxide sensors, that similar sensors were located in different positions, and after that we proposed a simple two-dimension CNL algorithm. In this work, we utilized a popular data set of gas sensors published by Vergara and his group to test our approach. And this data set includes the real-time signals of 72 sensors located in a wind tunnel facility, such as this picture, that uh, gas was produced here and propagated to the outlet side. And these sensors were located on nine similar fabricated sensing modules, which one of them is observed in this picture. 
and eight commercial sensors with these names were placed on it and each module was located at a different distance from the gas source and gas route. A total number of 18,000 measurements have been done by Vergara Group for five heater voltages and three gas flow rate, six location related to the wind direction, and 10 types of gases with 20 repeats. Each experiment lasted about 260 seconds and for each sensor the resistant values was obtained and recorded at 100 Hz sampling rate. In this work, we used only 1165 measurements from the original data set, corresponding measurements related to only one column of sensors and at the constant flow rates of 0.1 meters per second and 5 volt heater voltage. We only used the recorded values between t equals 20 seconds and T equals 200 seconds because target gases were released in this period. With the aim of feature reduction, we use one sample per second only. So 180 sample points were involved in data analyzer for each experiment and sensor. Therefore, a matrix of 72 by 180 response samples was shaped for each experiment no other humidity, temperature, or drift compensation was performed on data set in the rest of this algorithm. In this picture, for example, we plotted the response of one sensor, TGS2620, located on different boards in an experiment with a typical acetaldehyde gas. The response of each sensor is marked by an arrow as it is observed the response of nine similar sensors aren't identical because of their distinct locations inside the wind tunnel facility. Remarkably, the sensors in the middle of the tunnel have been more resistant changes to the target gas and they are more sensitive. Unfortunately, these response variations for a sensor type in different locations will finally lower the classification accuracy. So we investigated the importance of considering the location of sensors by designing a two-dimension CNN algorithm based on both location information of sensors and transient responses of sensors. Using both spatial and temporal information is same as working with a two-dimension image. Note that in such data sets with many similar sensors, the usual classification methods aren't based on considering the location of sensors. In this two-dimension CNN network, the nine responses of each sensor type were put together and made into 9 by 180 samples, same as an image, so the network's input is an 8 by 9 by 180 matrix of the transient response sample for 8 types of sensors and the output of the network is 10 values related to the gas labels. These algorithms were implemented using Python 3.7.13 and PyTorch 1.12.1. Algorithm includes two main parts, feature extraction and classification. Two-stage two-dimension convolutional layers were applied on the data set. First, we made a two-dimensional convolution layer with eight channels related to eight different types of sensors and with 16 output layers with three by three kernels and the ReLU function was applied as the activation function. And it followed by a maximum pooling layer 2 by 2. Second, we made a two-dimensional convolution layer with four output channels with 3 by 3 kernels. And it also followed by a maximum pooling layer. Then, all features were brought together and flattened into 1 by 360. 
and for classification purpose, two fully connected layers with 20 and 10 neurons were used. This network has a total of 9178 parameters. The network model was designed and evaluated by separating the data set randomly to 80% and 20% as train and test data set respectively. Besides, the validation accuracy of the model was calculated through k-fold cross-validation with k equals to 5. As I said previously, the usual methods are based on not considering the importance of sensor's location. To investigate the importance of the location of sensors in classification accuracy, we designed a one-dimension CNN and compared the result with this two-dimension CNN and other methods. And to better compare the result, the one-dimension CNN network was developed in such a way that the number of parameters is almost equal to that two-dimension CNN. So in one-dimension CNN, all 72 sensors were placed together as a 72 by 180 input matrix and only the temporal information was used in CNN. This one-dimension CNN consisted of three convolutional layers with 30, 12, and four output channels with three by one kernels and two fully connected layers with the same 20 and 10 neurons. The comparison of two networks regarding their layers and the number of their parameters is mentioned in this table. So one dimension is uh, deeper than two dimensions than this figure demonstrates the learning kern of two-dimension CNN network and the last variations are shown during the training and validation of this model with 200 epochs. As observable, the model starts to be trained after only three epochs and is trained well after 100 epochs for both train and validation datasets. The confusion matrix of the test data set is also given in this figure and it proves that the two dimensions CNN is perfectly capable of detecting the 10 gases. And the test accuracy of two dimensions CNN were attained 97.8%. And this figure visualizes the same loss variation for the one-dimension CNN model with 200 epochs, the model started to be trained after about 25 epochs, and even after 200 epochs, it's not correctly trained since there are many loss variations here. The confusion matrix of the test data set is also in this picture, and the test accuracy of one-dimension and model obtained 9.3%. It can be concluded that two-dimension CNN model is more efficient than the one-dimension CNN with the same number of parameters. First, because the uh, test achieved by two-dimension CNN model is 7.5% higher than the other one. And second, because the training process started faster in third epoch, and also due to its low loss variations after 100 epoch. Then the proposed two-dimension CNN model was uh, compared with one-dimension CNN and different methods of some previous studies in terms of uh, accuracy, the number of parameters, and the volume of calculation. In all studies, some data portion of the same data set has been used. As seen in this table, the highest classification accuracy and the lowest number of parameters have been acquired by the proposed two-dimension CNN model, which was based on considering both a spatial and temporal information of sensors. On the other hand, the one-dimension CNN has the lowest computation 
volume. Nevertheless, the accuracy of one dimension CNN is lower than the two dimension CNN because of not considering the location information of sensors. And also, it has about 4.6% lower accuracy than some other models, such as these three models. It should be noted that the higher classification accuracy of these models was obtained using much more parameters and calculation volumes. Therefore, CNN methods, especially two-dimensional CNN, are better in terms of having fewer parameters and calculations volume. The higher classification accuracy obtained by two-dimensional two CNN is because of considering both the spatial and temporal information of sensor signals. And in conclusion, the response of metal oxide gas sensors are affected by many factors and the sensor distance to the source of gas is one of these factors. Here, by proposing a two-dimension CNN model, the most informative features were extracted by getting importance to the location of sensors and the model was more accurate than other previous models. However, one dimension CNS was deeper and extracted more features. And in conclusion, better feature extraction and more accurate classification can be obtainable through a spatial and temporal information in two dimension CNN when we are working with an electronic nose with similar sensors in different positions. Thank you very much.